and through our satellite transmission. We greet our brethren and all the churches around the world with the peace of the Lord. We are here to transmit the study of the biblical study for tonight, for this morning, and as we do all the morning Sundays, Sunday mornings. And today, we want to say that we, we will continue with the study from last week. the subject about resurrection of Jesus when after his, his resurrection he appears to all the disciples as we studied last week so we're gonna keep in this matter going deeper today so we're gonna for the questions for the study for this morning. We are talking from Vila Velha, the studio in Jaburuna, in this morning. So this morning as well, we're going to talk about death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So the first question is, as we mentioned, death and resurrection of Jesus. So the question will be on resurrection subject. Acts 2.42 The base of uh, the pillars in the life of the church registered in Acts 2.42. Uh, we state that as four as the result of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. So find these four topics. So you're going to read Acts 2.42 and you're going to cite the, the four topics, four main topics. foundations of the base and the, the columns as a construction, as a... So there's one base and four columns, or four topics. So let's read, let's give three minutes so you can study and bring the answers. We'll be back soon. This one is easy, huh? So let's search in Acts 2.42. So, did you find it? Base and three pilars. Yeah. 
So you thought it was easy, right? Someone is answering that the base is the doctrine of the apostles, and the other three pillars are fellowship, the breaking of the bread, and the prayers. So let's go forward. So, brother, we are back to contribute with the answers. So certainly you have read and you found the answer. This is, these are the basics for our doctrine. So let's see the answer. And they persevere in the doctrine, in the fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and the prayers. Now let's have a small comment for the, the church. Peace of the Lord. So when we talk about death and resurrection of Jesus, it's highly important to understand. It's from uh, uncomparable beauty, as it's something that touches the feelings of anyone. We cannot deny that people in general they have a feeling inside themselves of love for someone or something or for a leader, master, someone that has a special role as a leader or a protector. We don't know the, propose, the, the, the purpose and we don't know if the Lord will use this purpose for one day to, to speak clearly to their hearts when Jesus will reveal them, himself as he revealed to us in his projects of salvation. So the Holy Spirit start to be part of our lives. So in this case of the study on this morning, the answer is a, a very known answer. Since last year, the beginning of last year, we, we study practically based on these elements that compose the doctrine of the church. So there is a basic element which is the resurrection. If Christ didn't resurrect, vain will be the faith. Because the Lord resurrected, so He didn't reveal. If He didn't reveal, the faith has no importance. So Jesus revealed Himself and the way that He, he explains the project of salvation is to, for him to reveal himself. So, otherwise the Holy Spirit is not going to be revealing himself. So, the doctrine is Jesus. It's alive. He rose again. And conviving within this doctrine we cannot ignore these three other elements which one is in which one one of them is the fellowship 
What does fellowship mean for the church? The word fellowship from the Greek root uh, we say translated transliterated a koinonia. So it's it's a word that has a a connection between husband and wife, for example. There is a, a fellowship of feelings, like a communion. But this fellowship you you understand that in the old testament it's related with the presence of Jesus. Without Jesus, there's no fellowship. Why not? For the Holy Spirit is the one that is in charge of that. So without, if Jesus doesn't reveal himself through the Holy Spirit, there's no fellowship. If Jesus is not present, there's no way to have fellowship. Among the disciples, so he presented himself to in the way of Emmaus and to the house into the house. So it was established this fellowship. Because he revealed himself. Later on you're gonna read with Pastor Gilson a a passage in Matthew eighteen twenty. So you're gonna see why in this three most important moments this fellowship was recovered so pay attention for this because it's very important and we're going to go straight to the to the question and i want to hear the answer from a pastor which is in bahia in brazil about fellowship so the breaking of bread for example the second topic after the base and the fellowship. The break of bread is the revelation of Jesus in the body. So when he break the bread, so when the believer take advantage on that, when he participate on that. So when Jesus breaks the bread, he's talking about his death. So when he gives the bread, he's talking about the resurrection for the ones that are being fed. Prayers means a church connected directly to the project of salvation, which is the project of resurrection. So we need to understand something. Jesus is alive. That's what we need to understand. So this quick uh, summary is to understand. So just rephrasing, koinonia, fellowship, So the base is the doctrine, and the pillars are fellowship, break of bread, and prayer. There is many, many other addendum, but this is the, the, the base and the three important columns of it. This is the breath of Jesus upon the disciples. Pastor Gilson has the word. Let's read Matthew 18, 20 to conclude the explanation that was given to from Pastor Jeduti. So Matthew 18, chapter 18, verse 20 says, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Amen. Just to confirm the explanation. So let's go to the second part of the question. The second question is, after the resurrection of Jesus, the Lord Jesus was clear that on the three moments when he revealed himself, as we can read in John 20, 16, Luke 24, 30, and Luke 24, 40. So then our, our study target will be in which one of those moments the doctrine that was hidden as a mystery will be revealed prophetically in Acts 2.42.
So our material of study will be this text mentioned. So second, choose in one of the encounters, find the elements, the prophetic elements hidden for the life of the apostolical church. And uh, the third one, question, where were the doctrines of resurrection, the fellowship, the breaking of bread, and prayers? Where were those doctrines in the text that we gave to you to choose from John, Luke, the two texts in Luke? So the question is related, it's uh, correlated to the first one. So choose one of the texts and find these four elements. This is the task. Five more minutes will be sufficient and we'll be back. So the lady is asking more clear what was the question. So you have to indicate in what, which of these three texts, John 20, 16, Luke 24, 30, or Luke 24, 40, in which of these texts is completely explained about the resurrection, the fellowship, the break of bread, and the prayers. One of these texts has all that in it. Did you find it? Okay, 
anyone still not understanding the question? Is everybody clear about the task? So if you stay quiet, that means y yes. Where's the mic? You didn't, you didn't get. So you have to read the text and find the correlation of these four subjects, topics. He's reading the two one in which moment? The doctrine was hidden and it was a mystery. It was revealed prophetically. So the question is just the bottom. Let's give an example. Who found John 20, 16, stand up and read. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is teacher. You should say teacher. It talks about resurrection of Jesus. She was talking to Jesus, but without noticing that it was him. So when he called her by the name, she understood. When the Lord calls us by the name, we understand. So until then, we are religious. We, we believe in the lyrics. And we understand about the creation. And when we meet Jesus personally, we understand about the revelation of the, uh, the not only the creation but the revelation of Jesus the revealed work of God Luke 24 30 now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread blessed and broke it and gave it to them. We are back to, to share the answer about the second question. So you certainly chose one of the texts, and we're going to see the answer related. So our question was, in the three cases, three moments in which Jesus present himself after resurrected to the disciples. The basic of doctrine was the resurrection, B, fellowship, C, the break of bread, and D, prayers. Now I invite you to read the texts, and as we read, the answer will be commented which text we're going to make all the study and the comments in which the cases that Jesus present himself after re resurrection. So the first one that you could choose is John 20, 16. Twenty to 16. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, 
ты че? Luke 24, verse 30, says, Now it came to pass, as he sat at the table with them, that he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. So in the verse 31, mentioned that their eyes opened and he could recognize him. So now Luke 24, now verse 40. So the verse 40 of 24, Luke says, When he said this, Jesus, he showed them his hands and his feet. So these three moments in which Jesus manifests himself, revealing after the resurrection, and within these three moments let's identify the the pillars the pillars of the doctrine resurrection communion break of bread and prayer based on acts 242 Truly, it's difficult to understand the prophetic and to bring clearly someone that might get used with the historical knowledge. But we need to go deeper and we need to make it clear. For example, the doctrine, doctrine was the resurrection. So, in Mary, she saw clearly that Jesus was resurrected. So, when Mary met Jesus, she saw him resurrected. So, before what happened, what, what was his concern? For her, Jesus was dead. So dead, buried, that's it. This is something traditional. So let's make a, an offering. Let's take the, the balms, the, the spices. That's normal. But the problem was that Mary thought that this was sufficient and that everything was okay. So her mind was a historical way to think. So in three days, she forgot everything. It's natural, natural. We, are, we think like that, naturally. But when she saw Jesus, and he, he called her by the name, she understood that Jesus was alive. It's very common for people to look for Jesus according to their own feelings. And Jesus have to reveal himself and she thought about the place where the body was so this is this is the the, the normal thought he's dead so where is he but at the fellowship when Jesus starts to talk to her and ask why are you crying so when he called her by her name then she answered, Rabboni, which is Master. Now it's her and Jesus, personally. There's no more doubt. When there's fellowship, there's no doubt. And she knew that the break of bread, and we will see later on with the disciples in, in the way of Emmaus, So she will remember that Jesus is the bread of life and she, she will live under that. Now the prayers. Now she is able, totally able to understand the, the, the meaning of the prayers. So if Jesus resurrected, he rose again. And if the church was united by the Holy Spirit, so who will do this fourth one? The Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. 
So the first and the second, she already took place. So the other one will be prophetic. They will happen in the other moments. When Jesus has an encounter with the other disciples in the way of Emmaus, we're going to see the fourth. When Jesus, pre Jesus presented himself, originally, he, they didn't recognize the same thing as Mary. Mary conf uh, was mistakenly thinking that the Jesus was the, the, the maintenance guy from the cemetery. So sometimes you go to someone asking about Jesus, but he, he don't, you don't need to. You don't have, you don't need anybody to explain you that. You can have a personal encounter. So the disciples on the way of Emmaus, they already forgot everything. The history, they, they remember everything. They, they knew that he was a prophet and he's gone and they didn't recognize him. But they need to to meet him by the resurrection. And they did that when they were sit, sat at the table and Jesus broke the bread and he blessed, he prayed. See, now we see prayers and the break of bread for, for during this fellowship, they, they found out Jesus was alive. And the break of bread, the prayers with Mary, he revealed himself in two aspects and now it's complete three aspects because then the disciples understood that he was resurrected so what did they say they say our heart was burning when he was talking to us on the way that is the feeling so jesus presents himself but not totally so they felt something but they couldn't imagine Imagine Jesus without him revealing himself. So Jesus is not history. As a prophet, it's good, it's important. If he was not a prophet, he couldn't do the, the, all the miracles the, from Nazareth of Galilee. And now we see the explanation that where the two or three in my name, I'll be there. So Mary, the two disciples, and Jesus, three, two, three. So then he meet all the 11 disciples. Now it's the church, it's a, it's a bigger meeting. So now he present himself resurrected. He showed his body. He present the signs, the feeling the pain, the, all the signs, the hands, the, the side, and the feet. The, the, hand talks about, the hands talks about the ministry. All the five aspects of ministry present in his own life. The, the side, when the, the, the lancet was perforating him by the side, talks about his love. And another element is the, the feet. When he show his feet wounded, he is saying, the church cannot stop. In, in this way, we cannot stop. Resurrection, fellowship, break of bread. So he showed to the eleven the body and the prayer. Now he is ready for the disciples so they can have fellowship. Eleven plus one, twelve. So the perfect fellowship in the body with Jesus. And through that, uh, the prayer is the result of this fellowship with in the body of Jesus when Jesus was there 
when Jesus entered in the place that he, they were, they were like afflicted. Interesting that all of them have told him that Jesus was resurrected. And the man believes only if Jesus revealed himself. So what happened is when we say we can say we have experienced able to we able to mention that Jesus resurrected. We have many, many aspects to study. And we're going to leave for this week all the other questions. So the subject for today, it's okay. And I wish that all the pastors, I hope all the pastors keep studying it with the church. For example, as Mary and the disciples, they know him historically. They all together. But we need to focus on resurrection when he revealed himself after he rose again. So salvation, it's a revelation. And when Jesus revealed himself, all the aspects, all the prophetic aspects, whatever two or three get together, so in the way of Mary first, with the two disciples in the way of Amos, and then later on with the eleven. In the name of Jesus, it cannot be under my name or the name of the pastor of the church. Maybe he's thinking that he's something, but he's not. We are not any, anybody without Jesus. Jesus needs you understand. We need to focus on historic, uh, prophetic Jesus, not a historic Jesus. Uh, all the traditions, all the holidays, all the elements, we're not worried about anything. This doesn't make any bad, but that doesn't bring salvation. We cannot be attached to this gospel, a worldly gospel. He revealed to everybody, to Mary, to the disciples in the way of Emmaus. And he revealed himself to the disciples. Everybody was afflicted and he entered and he said, peace be with you. Shows the signs. The body's here, all the wounds, all the signs. Now we're together and again can go ahead and move forward. So he explained what he wants from them. We greet everyone that is listening to us. And we would like to say, whoever didn't understand correctly, read the Bible. Seek for the, the revelation. The, the, the gospel is not a tradition. The church needs to, to seek more to understand it completely. Mary was looking for the body. The disciples didn't recognize. The other ones were afflicted and, and afraid. Amen? Peace of the Lord. So the children are going to sing a song.
Esse acabou. Amen. Let's stand. Let's pray for the children. Intermediate, teenagers, adolescents. Father in heaven. Abençoa os teus filhinhos nas escolas, todos os momentos da vida deles, em nome de Jesus. Let's have a word of praise to the Lord and another intersection about the tonight service, so the Lord can save and use the, the church. Lord, we thank you this morning for this word that brought life to our lives. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your house. So you have teach us about your word. So this can be a blessing for us. We can keep and to preserve the fellowship, the prayers, knowing you more and more. Because we want to live with you, have a, a joyful life with you, with the Jesus that was revealed and talked to us that guide us so we can be light in this world for the ones that doesn't know you yet so we can be reflecting the hope the salvation that only can come through Jesus we ask you that you can help us to experience a, a gospel of joy and not a custom. We want to leave, reveal Jesus. That's our prayer. In the name of Jesus, amen. For the tonight's service, oh Lord, we supplicate a blessing from eternity for your people so we can find your purpose Use us, O oh Lord, as an instrument in your hands. We want to praise you. We want to say to you that in this place you can reveal all the needs of the ones that are coming. Give all the deliverances that we need so your name can be glorified. We, we, we pray for this blessing, for the, the praises, for the praise group. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we bless your name for one more morning that we could listen to your voice and know your mysteries, strengthening our spiritual life. Thank you for making us understand and comprehend your will. Receive our praises, our adoration. In the name of Jesus, amen. In your name we say, May the grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit can be poured out upon us now and forever. Amen. The church may be seated. We're going to have a meeting with all the, the ladies of the church. The group C and group A as well quick meeting with the assistance group and the ladies to all peace of the Lord tonight 7.30 p.m. if you want to invite people to come if you need to give a ride or anything please 
Let's help everyone. Peace of the Lord.